Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with Callie and her mate Sulphur, and um, apparently a few other wolves? Uh, how about no? Uh oh, uh oh, okay, hold up, where are they? Okay, so that is definitely the Lost River Pack, and they are far too close for comfort. But welcome back, everyone, where Generation 7 has actually been born! Okay, I have to go look at them again before we head out, because Callie really loves her puppies. This is actually her second litter, since as you guys know- Oh, look at them! Her backstory is that she did have another mate in another litter, and they were all lost in a terrible forest fire. And it has taken her a long time to heal from those wounds, literally and emotionally and to want to risk the chance to go ahead and fight to claim her own piece of the land that her own pups would be able to hopefully survive in again. Uh, so the fact that we just heard a bunch of howling in almost our territory, and it happens to be not sulfur and uh, yeah, not our pack, that's not good. And I think that, oh, there we go, refreshing water. Oh, Kelly would be so happy. Oh, she'd be so happy. She loves water. <laughs> she is absolutely a wolf who wants to basically have her puppies live up the river. <gasps> this is the first time we've seen all of this. Oh, look at the beautiful, beautiful flowers. You know what? This is gorgeous. Maybe it's a good thing that Callie actually ended up accidentally having her pups right next to a burned out forest where clearly a terrible forest fire just raged through here at some point. What, and there's another den somewhere nearby? Okay, this is getting a little bit concerning because there's like dispersal wolves from the avalanche pack. We can also hear and smell the Lost River pack nearby. There's some sort of den. There's a den inside of this area. Like there's mule deer that we can smell. There's just suddenly a lot happening. Aha. And this is the spot that is not our territory. But it's so close to our territory that we better do something about it. And it's full of dispersal wolves. In this like burned out area. Okay, thank goodness. Yeah, it, it, this, is, this is a little bit too much chaos going on. There's a cow elk carcass too. That's possibly been hunted by those dispersals, but if there's a den around here and a bunch of female dispersal wolves, I'm a little worried they might try like denning here somehow. So let's see if we can discover. There it is. Oh, oh wow. Oh my gosh, this is actually gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are we actually gonna move the pups over here? This is literally where forest fire raged. And I mean, I know I keep saying that, but. It's the last place I would think Callie would want to like have a den, but at the same time, it's actually very beautiful. And I wonder if being able to successfully raise her pups around this area instead of the waterfall would help her calm her heart and kind of, kind of be a completion in a way of her story of being so worried about the fire and so worried about the the fate of her pups. I wonder if she could find more peace with the world and be able to kind of focus on life at hand if she wasn't so distracted by by the forest fire. If she could see that there is growth afterward, that there there is a life after the fire has raged through here. <sighs> okay, I don't smell that carcass anymore, but I do smell the female dispersal wolves. And they are definitely way too close to our territory for comfort. Aha! There's the carcass too. Yeah, if, if we smell the carcass, that's actually Sulphur's thing. He is never going to turn down free food. If he smells free food, he's gonna go for it. Okay. That could potentially be free food, but we'd have to work for it. And that's a buck. Oh, it may have been a normal... Uh, a normal... Bull... El or bull... Or a buck deer, pardon me. Let's see. All right, there's food. Like, I'm sorry. I'm distracted because sulfur is definitely a hot. There is definitely food up here. It just has a bear. <laughs> and unfortunately, we do have sulfur, who is extremely sassy. Um, 
and would want to be able to go ahead and, and try to get that food. Okay, that bear is actually like sleeping next to the food too. All right, let's back up a bit, Sulphur. Oh, oh hey, the bear ran off. Hey, I'm not gonna complain. If he's not gonna spend the time like going ahead and feeding off this carcass, I totally am. Wow, oh look, and you can see. That's so awesome. You can see two step the waterfall from over here. All right, well, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and get full. And then try claiming this area for our pack. Sulfur, are you really gonna howl over here? Really? All right, well, I mean, it's not like the other wolves are right over the horizon or anything, but I mean, we're feeling pretty good. And that does, oh, that does increase our pack affinity. You know what? That probably would make her feel pretty proud. Callie would want her pups to actually hear her voice being the one that echoes through the hills and know that they are nearby and they're going to do what they can to go ahead and defend their pups. All right, there's no scent mark. There's the bear again, oh my gosh. So the bear is not actually as big a danger as I thought it would be. And I haven't heard the Lost River pack for a moment. <gasps> and look at how much of the territory that we've actually been able to take back. Excellent. Maybe we'll go just a touch more to the north and then swing back around because I do not like leaving that much exposed territory over to the right of our den. But I think splitting the Lost River pack in two is actually working. And we haven't found the dispersal females. But we'll keep our eyes open. It's a big world out here after all. And just because we don't see... Aha. Just because we don't see danger doesn't mean it isn't here. Wow. This is so beautiful though. I think this would be the first time that Callie has actually been out. Sulphur's probably been doing loops. Just kind of like exploring and figuring out where the good hunting currently is. But this probably is the first time- oh look there's some bison way over there. This is the first time that Callie has been able to really like get up here and look around. Since she has had the wolf pups I think. That's what we're gonna say. Because otherwise Sulphur's really been focusing on just bringing back the food he can. Probably food that he took from like bears. Oh my gosh, look at that swagger. Do you guys see this swagger? They aren't even, like, they're not even joking around. Sulfur, please don't. <laughs> please don't fight the bison. I know you love biting the butts of bison because they taste delicious to you. But, like, we, we don't want that smoke, as the kids say. Alright. I mean, on the plus side, if there was the Lost River pack around here, we could try to just throw them into the bison. We do have a history, I believe, with the Dark Moon pack, actually. And Usagi and her pups and the Lucky Rabbit's Foot Challenge were lark. What the heck? That's what we get for focusing on Nom Sulfur. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. No. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not good. So it's the Alpha of the Lost River Pack. Okay. Yeah, still too close for comfort. The Lost River Pack seems to be coming. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? When I said we could just eat you into some bison, I meant it. But Sulphur, please don't be the one to get get kicked. Please don't want to be... <laughs> no, Sulphur! Okay. <gasps> Sulphur is about to get headbutted by a bison! This is the opposite of what I wanted. This is 100,000% the opposite. Okay, so now Sulphur... Dang it! Alright, look, if the bison are gonna do injuries, do them to the other wolves. I'm trying to bait the other wolves close to, like, the bison herd. Okay, okay. Sulphur knows he's getting beat up by the bison! Oh my gosh. Okay, alright, alright. Let's not have this happen, like, two seconds in. All right, I'm really hoping. Where is Sulphur? Okay. Okay. 
right, all right, all right. Our health is actually not that bad. I have no idea where Sulphur has disappeared to. Um, oh, he's getting attacked over here. I thought the, the other wolves were... Ah. Okay, there's the male. Shake him off, shake him off. So Sulphur actually didn't take the attacks from... Oh, this is so dizzying. Sulphur! Sulphur! No, I don't want to lose this territory. This is really important territory. Dang it. Okay, okay, okay. Stay locked on. I think they're both males from the Lost River. No, we're the ones getting bit. I thought we were doing the biting. All right, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Sulphur. Dang it. Is that a dog? Or does that wolf have like a mange tail? Are they running? Go on, get. That's right. Uh-oh. Was that worth it? Freaking bison, you were supposed to be on our side. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was an exhausting battle. Poor Callie. Like her first day back and like all of this happens. Oh my gosh. Okay, we still have to claim this as like ours before they come back for a second fight. Come on. And poor Sulphur, I have to check. Like we're both injured. We better go back to that carcass and we better collect everything we possibly can. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So at least we have told everyone off. Like, hey, this is our spot, back off. But let's go ahead. We're going to bounce back and we are going to gather up what we can from that carcass. We're gonna have to get home. The pups are probably really confused. I mean, they've grown up with too many other wolves' voices around here, if you ask me. It's pretty obvious that we've actually been struggling with being able to keep a firm hold of this territory. And I can't believe we spent so long admiring the river and the waterfall. We didn't even hear the Lost River Pack sneak up behind us and go ahead and grab what they could of like our legs, like our scruff. Oh my gosh. All right, Sulphur, do you have everything you can? Like what's happened to him? So we're exhausted and about to pass out. <gasps> Sulphur almost died and he has a major injury to his leg. He has 3% health left. All right, that's it. All right, all right, all right. Back to the den, back to the den. Okay, is this also our territory right over here? Yes, I think it's already been reinforced. And then this is also our territory. What a dramatic first day out. You know, Callie finally willing to tear herself away from her, her new litter of pups for like two seconds. Um, and we almost get Sulphur killed trying to pull off the trick that I wanted to pull off against the Lost River Pack, which was to get the bison to step on them. But I suppose it makes sense that Sulphur, who actually is from a pack that was mostly around the mountains, doesn't really know how to work around bison who hang out in the fields. And I'm gonna have to say that the Lost River Pack is so much more experienced than I was expecting. And for the sake of our story and our immersive roleplay, of course, I think it's fair to say that they definitely, ooh, this might be good summer hunting ground territory, noted. But I think it's fair to say that the Lost River Pack definitely knows how to hunt in the tall grasses. Uh, also, they probably know how to hunt way too close to our home. So this is gonna be a bigger problem than I thought. All right, Callie, it's gonna be hard. We absolutely need to go ahead and try to help Sulphur recover first. But after that, she almost became a single parent. Like, with six wolf pups. And there's still no guarantee. What if we get back to the den and there's going to be like a predator waiting? All right, look, we can definitely imagine way too many bad scenarios and we've got to get Sulphur. He's lagging behind. I don't want him to drown. He's got a major injury to his leg. All right, come on, Sulphur. I'm so sorry. Oh, and Mirage has popped out. Mirage. <gasps> oh, and here we are with our little wolf pups. Oh my gosh. We'll go ahead probably touch noses with a few of them. Make sure that they're okay. Are they hungry? They're a little bit... Uh, they're a tiny bit hungry, but not enough where I would probably go ahead and... Okay, if mom's not going to have the food, apparently everybody wants to go. And... Oh, Odyssey. Odyssey sticks by his mom all the time. Have you guys noticed that? And Pirate's already trying to wander off. But we're going to have a completely and utterly exhausted... 
caught Callie fall asleep while Sulphur and all the pups are actually howling around her. She's so tired. She's just gonna sleep right through that. Hang in there, Callie. I can't believe we almost got Sulphur killed trying to, like, convince a bison to step on... <laughs> <laughs> to step on, like, the rival wolf pack and not us. And I, I feel conflicted because I feel like that was supposed to be clever. And instead, it was just exceptionally dangerous, potentially deadly, and not for us. All right, let's eat this chunk of meat and then offer up what we can to the pups. And then how is Sulphur doing? Sulphur. Oh, look at him. Oh. I can't believe we almost lost you, Sulphur. Like, you've you've been a good mate already to Callie, so I really don't want to lose him. That that came really close. Remember how I said Callie might be thinking, oh, maybe there there is a happy life that we could live here in the burned out forest. Kind of reflecting on the way that even though a fire clearly ravaged this land, there's new new seeds. There's new sprouts and flowers, so maybe new life can come to a place that has been so badly burned. Yeah, no. No. I think I think she's back to wanting to just desperately get the entire group over to the waterfall that she just feels constantly pulled towards for safety. For a lot of reasons. I don't know if we'd be able to make a successful go of actually raising our pups there. But I could see how Callie doesn't really care. She's just trying super hard to sort of follow her heart. All right, so our injury has healed, but I am really worried about what is going to happen to our boy, Sulphur. His health is slowly getting up there, but he has a major injury to his leg and the pups are starting to get a little hungry and we need to start reinforcing quite a bit of our territory. We're losing some of it already, to the Lost River Pack right next to us again. So, um, note to self, I don't think, oh my gosh, and apparently, I keep trying to feed Odyssey and we just keep picking him up. So apparently, Callie has a thing for Odyssey. There we go. And then we're gonna have to go ahead and just do our best to feed everyone and hopefully get them moved as soon as possible to a den that is a little bit closer to the heart home that Callie really wants because she, she's just she almost lost her mate first day out clearly clearly the, the burned forest is still cursed <laughs> so all right guys thank you so much for joining us on this adventure if you guys could do please leave a like for the fact that sulfur is somehow still miraculously alive uh, and if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures as the storms rage overhead, apparently, uh, then you guys know what to do. Until next time, my friends, stay curious. Bye-bye.